All right, here with some news that's out of this world. Georgia Tech researchers have identified that a 13 mile wide mountain on the rim of the crater of Mars is likely a composite volcano. Here to talk more about it is James Ray with the Georgia Tech School of Earth and Science, uh, Atmospheric Sciences. Ray, welcome to the show. Dr. Professor Ray, welcome to the show. Thank you, good morning. All right, now you were a part of this group that made this discovery. What tipped you off that it may be a mountain or this mountain may be a volcano? So NASA has been considering this site uh, for its really its biggest campaign in planetary science to not only explore with a rover, but collect samples that we want to return to the Earth to look for subtle evidence of, of past life and, and better understand Mars as a whole. Uh, NASA has been considering this site back since 2007, and when I first saw images of this crater, uh, where the rover ended up going, Jezero Crater, there was a mountain on the rim of the crater that looked to me like a volcano. Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't get much discussion all through the landing site selection process, mission development, and then the rover landed in the crater uh, four years ago and was looking for sedimentary rocks that would record a, a watery history in the crater, and instead it found volcanic rocks and uh, the, the team, a uh, lot of discussion, wh where could these volcanic rocks have, have come from? We don't have any idea. And I thought, well, wait a minute. What? There was that mountain, right? And you can see it here behind me. So I'm, I'm here in Jezero Crater on Mars, and this is the view the <laughs> rover had from just about day one. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, the rover landed about as far from this mountain, which we now call Jezero Mons, as, uh, as Midtown is from Stone Mountain. So this is kind of like Stone Mountain on the horizon, but it's a much bigger uh, mountain, as you said, uh, and, and the, really the volcanic rocks that the rover found were kind of the, the thing that made us uh, you know, want to track this down further. Right. Well, talk to us, why, why is this significant? Um, again, if we do get rocks back from, from this crater as planned, uh, we'll, we'll look for evidence of past life on Mars. That's a huge motivator for exploring the entire solar system for NASA, but we'll also um, do things that we can't do with rovers uh, on a planet without bringing the rocks back to Earth, such as determine how old the rocks are. So if you find volcanic rocks, you can say definitively, if you have them back in a lab on the Earth, what, uh, how long ago they formed. So when was Mars volcanically active? By identifying the actual potential source of those volcanic rocks, we can say not only Mars was volcanically active at that time, but this particular volcano was erupting at that time, and that helps us to piece together the, the geologic history of Mars in much more detail. The other thing, you know, Mars is a cold, cold planet. It, uh, this, this particular site, I don't think, ever gets above uh, the 32 Fahrenheit freezing temperature of water. Uh, so sources of heat in the environment, like subsurface magma that occasionally erupts as lava, you know, any day a volcano erupts, it's, it's not a great day for uh, for anybody who might be living nearby, but the, the having the, the heat source there over a, the longer term uh, could be a positive for the prospects for life. All right, everybody wants to know, Professor James Ray, does this mean that there could have been life on Mars? Yeah, I, I think it, it doesn't um, it doesn't get us any closer to answering that for sure. What it does again is uh, is provide an energy source that if if life was able to evolve on Mars, then this could have been a good place for it to hang out for a while because you had heat mm -hmm. in addition to water in the crater. Uh, and those are a couple of the things that, that all life as we know it would, would need. Gotcha. Professor James Ray, really appreciate your insight and joining us today, and congratulations on that discovery. Thank you so much. Uh,